Hi everyone, Pastor Brian back with you for another teaching series. This one's on identity. Who are we? Who are we in Christ? Who does Jesus say we are? And so you'll probably remember back to when you were growing up as a toddler, your parents played a huge role in helping you identify. They would say, you're great. They would say, you're so beautiful. You're so smart. And all those words begin to shape how we think about ourselves, how we perceive. And of course, sadly, we may have had negative experiences where people spoke ill of us or, or said we weren't good enough or didn't measure up. And those words also impact us and begin to shape our psyche and how we view ourselves. And that's why we're doing this series so we can find out from God himself, who does he say that we are? For instance, I'm looking at 1 Corinthians in chapter 3, and it says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. If for generations, God's people would look to meet with God in a temple, in a physical structure in which there would be a special place in which the presence of God could be experienced. And now God is saying, we, as we gather, we are that temple. And His Holy Spirit has come to dwell in us. And we're holy. And so that should really change the way we even come to church on a Sunday and gather. It's not as if we're going to the movie theater or a sporting event. It's different. When we gather, we become, as it were, the gathering place of God whose Spirit has come to dwell in us. It's a holy gathering. We're a holy people. And so all of these teachings are meant to help shape our understanding of who we are, not based on how we feel or what society says or even what our earthly parents have said. But what does our Heavenly Father say? What does God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit say about who we are? Welcome to this teaching series on identity.